Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing an updated ancestry results. Um, I got an email not too long ago stating that my ancestry changed and I'm like, uh, okay. Um, so ironically, I've been so busy, I haven't even had the chance to go look. So I decided to go look and I was actually fascinated by the freaking results. Like, wow. So let's begin, let's just get into this because it can get lengthy, okay? And disclaimer, I don't care if you don't like Ancestry, you don't have to watch this video. Cause the first video I had to turn the comments off because it just got ridiculous. This is my thing. If you don't like Ancestry, you do not have to watch this video. Turn it, go to another video on someone else's channel cause I'm all about positivity here, yeah. So originally, I'm gonna post like right here of the results. Originally, I'm gonna go down the list. As you can see, I have Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. That was 25%. Europe West, 13. Europe South, 11. Nigeria, 10. Cameroon, 7. Benin, 6. Senegal, 6. Scandinavian, 6. Great Britain, 4. Africa, Southeastern Bantu, 3%. Finland, Northwest Russia, 3%. Ireland Peninsula, 2 Ivory Coast, Ghana, 1 Africa North, 1 Africa South, 1 And Middle East, 1. So on the new results that I got, this is like really crazy. So for England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe, I got now 41%. So it went up really significantly. Like it went up 16%. And I'm gonna try to like click on a lot of these things on the map as I'm doing it. So let me click, do like a screen record so you guys can like actually see what I'm seeing. So I clicked on the England, Wales, and I guess it's just basically now showing, go up, showing that I have more in this area. Um, I'm not gonna necessarily read it because I just wanted to like go over the actual numbers per se, but you can see right here, it talks about the history of Britain. Um, and I thought that was really cool that my numbers changed. And this is kind of my map. As you see, it's like a little bit, a little bit more. It added the updated on there. And I think as Ancestry grows and more people are doing it, it's allowing science to acknowledge and go back you know, loads of ways, way before we were even thought of, you know, way before probably our moms and dads and grandparents were even thought of. So I thought that was really, really cool to like see. Um, so now, no, we don't wanna take a survey. So as you see now, Cameroon, Congo is 21%, Ireland and Scotland are 18, Mali six, Benin five, Ivory Coast, Ghana 3%. Some of these did stay the same, but I did, get some like increase in the numbers. Um, Sweden is something that I didn't see the first time and that's a 2%. Spain, I didn't see that on there. So that's added now, that's 1%. And I have Middle East, which is 1%. Star Danina, 1%. And Africa, South Central Hunter, that's still, I think 1% where the numbers went down while I'm looking at it. Let me look back on the other, cause it's kind of difficult. Um, to see yeah it's still one percent so a lot of the numbers did stay the same but I want to click on that s word and see what that is okay so I'm this is not re screen recorded I'm just gonna show read read this real quick so that star the Nina word it says is the second largest island in the Mediterranean after Sicily it's crazy mountains pushed up from the ocean more than 25 million years ago. Rome, Spain, and Italy have all left their mark on the Starnanian history, but even in the face of outside influences, the island has developed and maintained a culture, language, and cuisine of its own. Okay, so that kind of makes sense because I do have Italy um, in my ancestry, so now it's like finding other areas that my ancestor has went to or where they were from. So I just thought that was really cool. Um, another update, if it goes back, um, it says my migration um, has changed a little bit. So I'm gonna like 
I'm gonna just take a screen copy of this. Yeah. So now it's looking like it's in Ohio now. So it says, go up. It says, the more specific places within this region where your family was likely from, it says South Central Pennsylvania and Western Maryland settlers. And then it says your connection to this region is likely through your ancestry from England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe, which was 41%, and the Ireland and Scotland, which is 18%. And of course, it still gives you that overview that it had the last time that I told you guys about. And I just thought that was cool. And now my map has like Ohio in there. That's really, really weird. Um. Oh, so look at this. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like take a photocopy of this. So like the map that's showing right now is showing you how, like they, where they came from. So my ancestors came from um, those two places. And yeah, I just think that ancestry is cool because it's different than 23andMe, like I told you guys before, because 23andMe kind of gives you a little bit more breakdown of different things that you may be made up of, as far as like how you may act, how, why do you do certain things that you do, um, different type of like genetic disorders that you may have in your blood. That part I do love about 23andMe, but with Ancestry, I really like how they explain it all too. So, um, video was kind of short because I didn't want to like overdraw it. If you missed the first video, go check it out. It was really good, it was really informative, and I went over like um, everything, read everything from all of the different um, things that I'm made up of. Um, I just think it's cool that we can find out what we are, we can find out where our ancestors came from, especially if you're like me who really don't know like your grandparents. I don't know my grandparents from my dad's side, and like I told you guys before, there was like talks that I was Native American. It was, you know, just things that you always hear and then sometimes you get your DNA and it's like, girl, bye, you are not that. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new. We are almost to my 1K goal and this is amazing. We have been on this journey. I'm sorry I keep doing it. Like I hate my bra showing. <laughs> But hope this video was informative for you. And if you have done Ancestry, comment down below. I'll leave this one open because I didn't, the first video, oh my God, I got so much like backlash because people really, they don't like Ancestry and they were trying to say that like my dad wasn't my dad. And I'm like, girl, I have a whole sister that has a different mom. So clearly that's my dad because she popped up under my Ancestry. And the thing about Ancestry is it can open up a lot of family secrets. Since doing the first Ancestry, I found out so much about my family and I felt like betrayed because it was like, why didn't you tell me these things? And I'm not gonna talk about that on YouTube, but yeah, it can open up a can of worms if, if things don't act accordingly on your thing. Until the next video, guys, I'll see you.